Exercise Operation Pacific Reach, designed to test the combined logistics capabilities of US and South Korean air, sea and land resources. This is how the combined forces plan to distribute supplies such as food, fuel and water in time of warfare. This exercise, in conjunction with the larger Operation Pacific Reach exercise, has been designed to ensure readiness and sustain the capabilities while strengthening the ROC and U.S. alliance. But it's exercises like these, ongoing for two months now, which antagonize North Korea most. In reaction to news, the U.S. is sending a carrier strike group to the peninsula. North Korea says it will defend itself using powerful force of arms. Moves by the U.S. for an invasion, it says, has reached a serious phase and validates its need for a nuclear deterrent. We will never beg for peace, but we will take the toughest counteraction with powerful armed forces against the provocateurs in order to defend ourselves and stay on our own chosen path. At the beginning of joint military exercises last month, North Korea fired four Scud missiles as a warning to the U.S. and South Korea. More could be launched as the North celebrates key anniversaries. It is possible the North may wage greater provocations, such as a nuclear test that is timed with various anniversaries, including the Supreme People's Assembly. The Supreme People's Assembly meets just a few times a year to set budgets, overhaul cabinet organs and rubber stamp directives from the all-powerful Working Party of Korea. The timing for this sitting coincides with the 105th birthday anniversary of modern North Korea's founding father, Kim Il-sung. 1994, we had a similar situation of the United States possibly willing to strike, surgical strike, uh, to Pyongyang regime. But since then, I think this is the highest point of tension here. So a lot of people are feeling quite uneasy about it. Normally, these events are regarded as mere saber rattling. But the unpredictability of US President Donald Trump is adding a new dimension to the usual rhetoric. Craig Leeson, Al Jazeera, Pohang, South Korea.